let's discuss why is it important why diet is important so when we talk about diet we generally talk about dieting that is not what i mean here we when i'm talking about diet i'm talking about the intake the food that we are eating so why is it important because most of the our gut is called the second brain so it has a lot of neurons which are also regulating your mood so if you have noticed when uh, you are uh, in in a bad mood you tend to either eat a lot of sweet things or something that you like or you must have seen people binge eating a lot of times when they are upset about certain things so this is the common connection that is observable when it comes to mood and eating habits uh, regulation so unless and until we understand that how our mood our mental health is uh, absolutely in proportion in relation with what we are eating we cannot connect it in day to day life so to understand in a day to day life you you ob- you must have observed that how diet is taken uh, is uh, is a primary factor when your mood is upset or you are nervous you don't feel like eating right so when these things happen you tend to understand that why this is happening when when there is a digestion problem then there are many mood swings as well and you don't feel like eating or you feel like eating a lot of stuff so these are small small markers that we can understand when we are working with diet and mental health relationship <clears throat> diet is one thing that can lead to imbalance in mental functions so if if um, so so there was a study when uh, when there was a uh, uh, a study was done on adhd children if you uh, are aware about adhd it's a neurological disorder in which the child is extremely um, restless and it's a uh, uh it's not that it does not happen with adults but it is quite common we nowadays uh, adhd is quite visible in schools in our environment but diet plays a major role when it comes to adhd diagnosis and misdiagnosis so when a child is eating a lot of sugar a lot of white sugar to be precise eating a lot of uh, food with preservatives food coloring they ought to have some symptoms which are related to adhd so that is how uh, and it can in long run it can have an impact which is more damaging and long run on the brain so these are small small things that we will be talking about it can damage the physical structure of the brain so um, uh, when we talk about parkinsons alzheimer diseases so food also plays an important role so again i would quote a study here so there was a study in which a uh, m- m- uh, m- uh, group of people were taking supplements you must have heard about supplements so generally uh, uh, people uh, pop up a lot of pills and supplements and which are related to iron or multivitamins and how is it damaging this excess of multivitamin and excess of iron was getting an accumulated in the brain structure because excess of everything is harmful so every intake that you are taking has an effect on your physical well-being and mental well-being as well so when this happened the group of people were showing very significant signs of alzheimer so this research showed us that excess of iron can ac- actually damage your brain excess of calcium even can damage your brain and your mental structure the, 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 uh, at times this these things get accumulated in the brain and then it becomes a uh, uh, you must have seen a lot of people becoming very irritable when they are taking certain medicines or taking some certain foods and this is what happens when we don't regulate what we are eating so and the last one it can affect the genes of course in a long run whatever you are putting in your uh, body will have an effect on your brain 
your mind and your genes that means you not you are not only damaging your own body and mind you are also damaging your coming generations so this is what this is why diet is very important again i'm repeating diet is not dieting it is about intake whatever you are eating so this is uh, in general we called as diet therapy and nowadays diet psychiatry is also very uh, very much in focus especially in the developed nations so many researches are happening on diet uh, therapy and diet psychiatry how you can deal with uh, psychotic diseases through diet modulation so uh, uh, this is the relationship between the your gut and brain so your gut is called the second brain because your immune system your mood your absorption of nutrients happen from your uh, digestive system unless and until your digestive system is uh, working in place your mind won't be able to focus or work into it for